Ranger Art standing from the far outside looking to leave out of there. Jeremy's Jet now flashing some speed and from the inside Western Cyclone is out very alertly there with Miller around the first turn. But Paul McDonnell has Jeremy's Jet wound up early here and he will swoop down and take charge. Western Cyclone back in the second spot. Good start for Pallone Ranger slides in third. Western Ace is fourth. Art standing is fifth to the opening quarter mile. Shark Gesture got away sixth. Perfect Union is seventh. On the rail Bartolomeo is eighth. Backing off ninth there. Fost Blue Chip followed by Sea Dragon. First quarter was 28 seconds off the turn. Down the back stretch. It's Jeremy's Jet by two and a half lengths. Jeremy's Jet in control of this one. Western Cyclone second now. And Sears not content with things. Here comes Pallone Ranger who looks to test uh, Jeremy's Jet up the back stretch. Uh, those uh, three open up by four and a half lengths on Western Ace a fourth as they pass the half mile. Underway, a fifth on the outside, but stall there is Shark Gesture. To his inside is Art Standing, followed by Perfect Union near the back of the pack. It's uh, on the outside, Bart Lameo now backing away. To his inside comes Sea Dragon, who's jammed up near the rear of the field, and Foss Blue Chip. The half was 55 and 1, so a 27 and 1 second quarter there. Pallone Ranger taking on Western Ace, committed first over with the Catman. Jeremy's Jet now locked in. Shark Gesture is lurking second over there. Shark Gesture threw in a few steps there, second over. Pierce uh, tapping him with the whip there, and to the outside, Perfect Union, three wide, locked in is Western Cyclone. Three quarters, one. 24. Good rating by Sears there in the third quarter with Pallone Ranger digging in. Western A's trying to grind him down and angling sharply. Jeremy's Jet on the outside. He's turning on the afterburners and also angling free as Western Cyclone. He was buried, but it's Jeremy's Jet. Jeremy's Jet soars. It's Jeremy's Jet and Paul McDonnell in the crowd. Western Cyclone was up for second, then Western Ace and Perfect Union. Jeremy's Jet won 52 and 1. Jeremy's Jet, bred by Anderson Racing of Creed, Illinois. John Leahy of Plainfield, Illinois. Of course, they campaign the damn oh, you pretty thing. Genesis Racing Stable, Jolene Ann Leahy of Plainfield, Illinois. And quite a year for Tom Harmer, who also had top two-year-old Pujols. Mr. Joe Thompson. Hamiltonian Society director and director of Winback Farms, operator of Winback Farms, with the presentation here, Mr. Joe. Fifteen Thompson. years after setting the record in his first drive for a payoff, $140, Paul McDonnell's back with Jeremy's Jet, who's just got one head from being undefeated in the year. Paul, tell us a little bit about trace the progress of the year so far for Jeremy's Jet. He's answered just about every call. Yeah, he certainly has. Uh, you know, he's been very lightly raced this year, and uh, I think that was kind of by design by Tom Harmer and. Uh, uh, I think he's just proved that you don't have to race a, a two-year-old too many starts and be uh, successful. And he was prime for the biggies too. That's a Governor's Cup, Metro, and Breeders' Crown, Arts Place. The only other horse has done that. That's fancy company here. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, I, I think he can live up to those uh, those credentials too. I think he's just an awesome, unbelievable, uh, talented colt. Million dollar two-year-old. Now, the fact that he's only got seven starts sets him up for maybe a three-year-old season where he doesn't have too, so much uh, work underneath him. Well, I think that's uh, the plan all along. Uh, next year is the year they want to focus on. And, uh, you know, if he comes back uh, as good as I think he can come back, uh, he'll really be heard from next year. Any thoughts of not letting Pallone Ranger pass at the half? No, not at all. Uh, I figured uh, he'd get an aggressive drive tonight. And uh, uh, I just wanted to be up close near the front end. It looked like the, the speed's been all uh, up front all night. So uh, I thought if we were within range at the head of the stretch, you know, give him a chance to win it. Where were you at the top of the stretch? Uh, he was second behind Pallone Ranger, and I was able to angle out behind uh, Western Ace. Okay, Jeremy's Jet, uh, Paul Mackinac, congratulations. Joe Frazier, we'd like to ask Joe Frazier here, our assistant here to Tom Harmer. Jeremy's Jet, when did we first realize there was something special here? Uh, probably the time after Tom trained him. Uh, he called me on the phone, and he said, pack your bags, you're going to the Metro. I just want to say one thing real quick. I want to thank Tom and Debbie Harmer for this opportunity, and Dr. Uh, uh, Hogan, Patty Hogan, for all her help that she helped me with yesterday. I really appreciate it. Okay, and Jeremy Stett, I mean, that's it now for the year, I'm assuming. And uh, when does he come back next year? Is he Meadowlands Pace, you know, eligible races like that? Well, Tom always comes up with a plan. He's a man with a plan, so I'm sure he'll point him towards that. Best quality of Jeremy Stett? He's a lovable horse. Especially if you bet him at $7. <laughs> okay, Joe. Yes, indeed. Congratulations, Joe. Jeremy's dad has done it. He's won the Breeders' Crown for two-year-old Colt and Gelding Pacers.